Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this BMR calculator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in the previous video, we added the CSS and this is how it looks right now. Now in this video, we will add the JavaScript and make it work. So when we click on the calculate button, we want to calculate the BMR based on these input values and we have to display the result over here. So we will do that in this video. Let's get started. Right, this is our source code and if you go to the index.html file here we can see we have already linked our main.js file. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to reference some of these elements from the html into our javascript file. So we need to reference the calories span over here because we need to update this value and we need to reference the calculate button and then we need to reference all these input fields. We need to reference uh, the weight, the height, the gender and the age and for all these elements we have these uh, IDs and classes. So for the input fields we have this ID of age and uh, for the radio buttons we have a name of gender for both these uh, radio buttons and then we have an ID of height for the height and then we have an ID of weight for the weight input field and then we have this calculate button class for the button and then we have this class called calories. So let's reference all of these in our JavaScript. Let's go to the main.js file. So let's tap const calories equals document dot query selector BMR calculator and in that we have the result and in the result we have the calories and now let's reference the button so let's type const calculate button equals document dot query selector BMR calculator result calculate button right now let's reference the age so let's tap const age equals document dot query selector bmr calculator form and we have an id of age and then we have the gender but uh, we need to get one of these values from here so we'll get the values uh, when we click on this calculate button so we will do that later for now let's reference this height so let's tap const height equals document dot query selector bmr calculator form hash height and then lastly we have the weight so let's tap const weight equals document dot query selector bmr calculator form weight right now let's create a function to calculate the bmr now for the bmr we are using a formula which goes like this bmr equals 10 times weight plus 6.25 times height minus 5 times age plus 5. So this is the formula that we're going to use for the male and for the female we're going to use this formula BMR equals 10 times weight plus 6.25 times height minus 5 times age minus 161 so this is the formula now let's create a function to calculate this formula so we'll create a function called calculate bmr now in this function we're going to receive some arguments over here so we're going to receive the weight we're going to receive the height we're going to receive the age and we're going to also receive the gender right now let's add an if condition over here so let's tap if gender equals male then we're going to return this value right here and i'll just copy this from here and paste it over here now if it is a male then we're going to return this value right here or else we're going to return a slightly different value which is this one right here so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here all right now the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to add an event listener to this calculate button and we need to call this function calculate bmr so let's type calculate button dot add event listener and we will listen for the click event and let's create an arrow function over here and here we need to call the function calculate bmr and we need to pass the values of these input fields now if we scroll up we can see that we have these constants over here we have the age height and weight but these are the elements now to get the value we need to add dot value so here first of all we need to get the weight 
so let's type weight dot value and then we need to have the height so let's type height dot value and then we have the age so let's type age dot value and then we need to have the gender so let's get the gender first of all so here let's create a variable called gender value equals document dot query selector and he will just type bmr calculator form and here we need to type input and for the input field we have a name so here we can see we have a name of gender for both these input fields so let's type name equals gender and then we need to get the value of the checked input field so right now male is checked so here we can just type colon checked and here we need to type dot value so this will store the value of whichever of these radio input fields are selected and store it inside this value gender value and here we will pass the value so I'll just type gender value now this function will return to us a value so let's get the value over here let's store it inside a variable so let's type let bmr equals and we will get the value from this function and we'll store it inside this variable now let's display this variable inside this uh, calories division right here so we have already referenced that over here calories so let's type calories dot inner html equals bmr right now let's test and see whether this works so let's change some of these values let's change this to 25 let's change this to let's say 80 and let's click on calculate and here we can see we have this value displayed over here and if i select female let's click on calculate and we have a different value and let's see whether we have the correct value displayed over here so let's add these same input values into our original design so we have 25 female 180 and 80 and let's click on calculate and we have 1639 and here also we have 1639 now the last thing we need to do is we need to add this comma after this first value because for the number we have a different format so we don't have the comma displayed over here now you can do that easily using a function called to locale string and here we need to pass en hyphen us and now let's save this and now let's add some values and let's click on calculate and we have the comma and everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add functionality to this bmr calculator using javascript now in the next video we will add input validation for these input fields so that even if we add any characters over here it should say that this has an invalid input and it should not calculate the bmr so we will do that in the next video so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day